guys, it's Kate, and today I am back with a pre-spring haul. I am just so excited that the weather has been so beautiful where I live. It's been about, oh, and there goes my dog, of course. We'll try to ignore that. Um, <laughs> it's been about 70, 75 on a regular basis, and it's been absolutely beautiful. So that has really inspired me to pick up some more um, spring pieces to add to my wardrobe, especially since I have lost weight. A lot of my spring pieces that I bought last year, like the dresses at Forever 21, which if you didn't see that haul, I will link it below if you're interested, although I'm pretty sure you can't get those things anymore. Um, those don't fit me. So I decided I'd get some other things. But before I jumped into that, I had wanted to take a moment just to talk about my new bag with you. I was contemplating on doing an entire what's in my bag video, but because the bag is so small and I'm really not holding very much, I just thought that I would insert it in this haul because it is new um, and I absolutely love it. So I have sincerely been wanting to downsize for quite a long time because I have found that I was just buying these big bags that just don't fit my lifestyle or my need right now. And I would just be carrying these big heavy bags and I didn't need all that room. So I went to the Fossil Outlet about 20, 30 minutes from my home and I picked this beauty up. I absolutely love it. I think the red color is just so beautiful for fall and winter time, which is when I bought this. Um, I bought it um, early, late December, early January. Um, but I think it's absolutely beautiful, especially for Valentine's Day coming up. I just love it. As you can see, it's got the brown um, leather detailing on the front with a gold clasp. And then what I love about it is it gives that detail like it's buckled, but it's actually a snap, which is perfect. It's got a zip here in the back, which I honestly don't keep anything in, um, but I should. That's a great storage option. And then of course the long handle. Um, and I'll just real quick go over what I have in here because again, I don't carry hardly anything in here. Um, the biggest thing in here is my wallet that I got to match. And as you can see, compared to the size of the bag, the wallet is very small. I've never had a wallet this small before. And it's definitely been interesting because I've had to um, keep my, the um, bill compartment doesn't fit bills lying is that horizontal yeah horizontal so i have to fold them and put them in which is interesting um, but there's two compartments for bills all of these card slots and then you open this flap up um, and there's a whole other section for card slots there so that is really handy and then there is um, a back coin zip there so that's what i have i also have um my sunglasses, these are ones I picked up from Target quite a while ago. I think I, that was in the last spring haul I did, which I'll link down below, like I said. I have my phone, so pretty exciting. Oh, and my boy texted me, so I have to answer him. I do have my um, keys, and I did get a Tinkerbell um, half marathon keychain, which I'm really excited about because I did run the Tinkerbell 10K on January 18th. If you guys are interested in hearing a review of my first run Disney race, how I prepared for it, and the things that I picked up at the expo, go ahead and like this video and I will do that for you. And then the very back pocket zip here that I have is just some lady things. Um, my aerial mirror that I absolutely love. I thought, I normally carry my Cinderella mirror, but I'm just like really nerdy and I think that because Ariel has red hair, I need to carry my Ariel compact in my red bag. Um, and then a Burt's Bees, a Rollerball, I got this for Christmas this year and it smells amazing. It's the Love and Toast by Margaret Elena and some Tylenol. So just really, really basic things in my bag, not a lot at all, but I think that it's perfect, like I said, for my lifestyle right now. I don't need to be carrying a ton of things. Um, and why bother with such a huge bag if I'm either not going to be able to fill it or I'm just filling it with stuff that I don't need to be carrying. So that is my bag and I love it. And let's hop into the dresses and things that I picked up. 
So actually the first one that I got was from TJ Maxx and I was shopping there for my aunt's birthday that's coming up in March and I had wanted to get her a bagolini because my mom has one and she saw my mom's and loved it so I wanted to go back and check to see if they had different colors. Um, and I saw this Hollister dress on sale from $16.99 to $7 which I thought was just too good of a steal to pass up but it's just absolutely adorable. It's this pink navy blue teal and orange tartan and has this really pretty ruffle down here at the bottom it is a little bit shorter but perfect again for spring and summer weather um so i thought that that was just too cute everything else is oh no excuse me with the exception of two things i'll do these next um i went to victoria's secret uh two times one um sorry i have like everything in a pile here. Go like this. I went to Victoria's Secret two times. Um, and the first time I went, I picked up this dress. I went for their semi annual sale, and everything, the time I went was towards the end of the sale, so everything in the sale was an additional 50% off. So I went once and got this dress. It is a small, so it is a size up, but I just loved it too much and couldn't pass it up and just decided that. It's okay if it's a little bit bigger because I am gonna wear this. Um, you know, it's definitely a beach dress, beach summer dress. So I would have my bikini on underneath or something like that. So I would be covered up enough anyway. Um, but this dress is beautiful. It's a long maxi. It's navy, red, and white striped. And it was originally $64. It was on sale for 34 and then it was an additional 50% off. So I got it for about 18. But as you can see, it is a crazy long maxi dress. But really what sold me is the back, which you cannot tell. Um, but it is an incredibly low back. This is a crisscross tie. So pretty much all of your back is exposed. And like I said, as a beach or summer dress in general, I think that is just so fun. So I got that. And then I went another time um, with my boyfriend, actually because I bought that dress and they didn't take the tag off. So I went back again to have them take the security tag off and I found this, um, which I just love. Again, I got it in a small, a size bigger, but I thought, again, for a sweater that that was appropriate. Um, and I've already worn this, so I took the tag off, but it was reduced to $19.99 and then additional 50% off, I got it for $10. So it's just this beautiful mint and white striped sweater again with the open back and I just think that it is just so fun um, and really spring appropriate. So that is what I got from Victoria's Secret. Now everything else is Lauren Conrad. So I will show you that real quickly. Um, the first things that I got were dresses and then I used my Kohl's cash to go back and get my shoes and the two shirts that I got on sale. The first dress that I picked up is this one. Oop. And I decided that as a student teacher um, and just going to be a teacher maybe in general, I needed some more school appropriate things and things that could transition from fall into spring when the weather is a little bit cooler, um, but you know, not, not terribly cold. So I got um, three three quarter length sleeve dresses. This one is very plain, just a solid peach color, has a beautiful bow here in the center and is knee length. I also got this dress, this is the same exact design, but what makes it unique is the bottom half or the skirt part of the dress has little stars all over it, which I just thought were really pretty. And again, I think this dress is perfect for transitioning from winter to springtime. Um, so again, three quarter length sleeves, that little bow detail here in the center, and it's kind of a, got a beautiful boat neckline. And then the last dress again has stars, but it's a little bit different of a style. Three quarter length chiffon sleeves that have a little elastic there at the end. It's got a beautiful ribbon to cinch in the waist and flares out a beautifully cut A-line. And I love the Peter Pan collar at the top. Those always sucker me in, so I got that. I also picked up the blazer that I am wearing because the basic black blazer that I had was too big. Um, but I mean really nothing super special to show it is just a basic black blazer so then I got my Kohl's cash and then I went back with my mom and I picked up two shirts that were on clearance the first one is this one it was originally $40 and I got it for eight 
Um, I just think perfect spring colors. It's so cute and it is so lightweight, which I think is so important. Living where I live, where it can get up to 100 degrees, if I wanna transition this into the summer, I can, because it is a lighter weight fabric. So there is that. And then the last clothing piece I got was this one. This shirt was originally $44, and I got it on sale for $4.40. It is a chambray shirt with a beautiful rose pattern, and it's actually an ombre. It's a lighter wash at the top that fades to a darker wash on the bottom. And I've never owned a chambray shirt. So this has been fun for me. I was really excited to get this because I think it's gonna be fun for me to try to style it. I don't wear jeans. Um, I just don't think my body shape was really built for them. I definitely have um, shorter legs. I'm only 5'2", and my legs are pretty short. So any pants that I have to get in general need to be altered anyway. And I just don't think that really jeans of any style or cut flatter me. So that's why I love um, leggings if I do wear pants, but in general, I'll wear dresses and skirts. Um, but so this will be just be fun for me to style. I think it'll be a lot of fun to pair it with white shorts or even get some like mauve color um, and just really just have fun with it. Since I don't wear jeans, it's nice to add a jean aspect into my wardrobe. And then the very last thing that I did get were these shoes. And I honestly don't remember how much they were. I want to say they were on sale for about 30 um, from 60. And these are definitely something that's out of my comfort zone. But I just think they are so much fun. And I think that spring is kind of a time when you do, you know, spring cleaning and just to revamp your wardrobe. Um, and that's what the beginning of the year is for, too. So I just picked these up. They are a blush color. I think the caging is just so fun and it, the tie up the front is beautiful and it's got actually a zipper in the back which is nice so you don't have to consistently tie and retie these. You can just slip your foot in, a tie it tighter if you need to, um, but really just use the zipper at the back. So I think those are so fun um, and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am actually going to put myself on a no buy until probably May when my birthday comes around simply because I have so many things coming up and if you guys are interested I can do a little more try to do a little more vlogging like I said like this video if you want to see a review of my run Disney race and the expo um, but I also have like I said so many things coming up um, I'm going to be applying for the Disney College program next month so I can also be vlogging a series about that if you'd like to see those kinds of videos I have my mom's birthday in March, mine and my boyfriend's birthday in May, and we're taking a trip to San Jose for his birthday. So I have that. Um, and then I graduate from college. I have college graduation. And then I'm actually, if I get into the Disney College program, I'm gonna be moving down to Florida. So tons of stuff coming up. So I'm gonna try really hard to not buy anything. We'll see how that goes. Um, but like I said, if you're interested in seeing more vlogs or anything like that that I've mentioned, just leave it in the comments below and I will try to get a little bit better about that. Um, and here's my doggie. So let's get him in the picture. Come here. Come here. Oh. So, oh, you're such a big boy. We um, will see you in my next video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. No, you might say bye bye. You might kiss him?